Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 23, verses 6 to 13 today. Let's see what happens next. Last time, David and his men were called by God to go down and save the city of Keilah. They did it. What happens next? Now it happened when Abiathar, the son of Ahimelech, fled to David at Keilah, that he went down with an ephod in his hand. And Saul was told that David had gone to Keilah. So Saul said, God has delivered him into my hand, for he has shut himself in by entering a town that has gates and bars. Then Saul called all the people together for war to go down to Keilah to besiege David and his men. When David knew that Saul plotted evil against him, he said to Abiathar the priest, Bring the ephod here. Then David said, O Lord, God of Israel, your servant has certainly heard that Saul seeks to come to Keilah to destroy the city for my sake. Will the men of Keilah deliver me into his hand? Will Saul come down as your servant has heard? O Lord, God of Israel, I pray, tell your servant. And the Lord said, He will come down. Then David said, Will the men of Keilah deliver me and my men into the hand of Saul? And the Lord said, They will deliver you. So David and his men, about 600, arose and departed from Keilah and went wherever they could go. Then it was told Saul that David had escaped from Keilah, so he halted the expedition. So David saves the city. Saul hears about it, and he immediately mobilizes for war. We're going to go out and didn't didn't help Keilah with the Philistines, but he's now he's going to go out and get David and his band. And so that's what's going on. Of course, I, the word comes to David, and David's concerned. What about this? We are in sort of a, a dangerous place here. We're we're trapped in a city. What are we? What should we do? Will these people d- deliver me? David inquires of the Lord again and again. So here we have the pattern we saw at the beginning of this chapter. David's inquiring of the Lord. Good for him. You and I, we maybe we just don't inquire of the Lord as much as we should, but David's doing it, and it's it's a pretty good thing for David, isn't it? Well, you know what? It's a pretty good thing for you and me to inquire of the Lord. And so what are they told? Even though they've saved the city, God tells them, yes, these people in this city will give you up. If you stay there, this is bad things going to happen. So David and his guys, they grab everything and psh, they're gone. They leave. Saul hears that they are no longer there, and he calls off his uh, his crusade there against David, at least that moment of the, of the crusade. You know, again, we're back to this message, this idea of inquiring of God, uh, being nimble, being quick on our feet. David was pretty nimble many times when he had a, a Saul throw a spear at him. When he was in battle, he was nimble. And here he's taken the city, and now he hears about this, and, he, and God tells him they're gonna, they'll betray you to, the, to, to Saul. So David's nimble again. He's nimble kind of strategically. Boom, he's out of there. I'm out. And so he leaves. He doesn't slaughter the people for their ingratitude. He just leaves. And so here we again see pattern, a pattern for uh, inquiring of God, trusting God, acting on what God reveals. And many times we think that God is going to do something or we have an idea that he wants us to do something, but then we don't follow through. We don't act on what he reveals. And so David is, is showing us a pattern here, a pattern for activity as Christians. Find out what God's will is. Take your time, but, you know, take an appropriate time. Find out what God's will is. Boom, do it. When you find out what that will is, go forward. Do it. Do something. The kingdom is made as we serve the Lord Jesus. Think about how much Jesus was continually walking through Galilee, continually uh, traveling through and across the land of Israel in his ministry. Uh, Quite a picture there of activity. And we perhaps want everything to just come to us on a silver platter, press the button, you know. But I think there's more activity intended for people who are seeking the kingdom. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us as we are seeking to live the right way. Help us as we're seeking to be right with Jesus and right with you. We pray that you will be our leader, that you'll help us to again to remember to inquire of you Help us to be actively discovering your will and actively acting out your will. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Now, Lord, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friend, God will be with us as we seek him, but we will at different times have to be very busily doing the work of God. And it won't all just be uh, sitting in a seat in a bus waiting for Jesus to come, right? Hey, God be with you today in all that you do.